Well, March is Women's History Month, which celebrates women's contributions to culture and society. And my next guest is blazing her own trail, serving as the first woman to lead Big Brothers Big Sisters of New York City. The nonprofit has been mentoring young people in our area for more than 100 years. Alicia Guevara joins me now, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Congratulations. Um, how does it feel to be the, I, I mean, I was kind of blown away that you are the first woman, because you almost think, oh my gosh, it's taken this long? I'm incredibly honored mm -hmm. to be the first woman in the seat, but given that we're in Women's History Month, and as I reflect on my role and my responsibility, my legacy can't be that I was the first. Right. My legacy has to be that I created room at the table mm -hmm. for so many other girls to come up behind me and see that being a CEO is possible for them too. That is terrific. Now, this nonprofit was the country's first mentorship program. And um, let's talk about, I mean, both of us have mentored mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. How important mentorship is for young people? It's essential. Mentorship is malleable, it's easy, but it's safe, and it's grounded in trust. In essence, mentorship is about building caring, compassionate, consistent relationships for young people to navigate life's challenges and explore their opportunities. And I think as mentors, we learn so much. Both of us have, I call mine a little, you know, we, I mentored her from, since she was high school. She's now married and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I think as mentors, we get so much out of it. No question. I hear all the time from mentors that they get so much more mm -hmm. than they even think they give. And I think also about reverse mentorship and young people teach teaching adults about what they're facing and how our world continues to evolve. That's very true. And also, my little, she was always actually on time and always never on time. So I had to <laughs> learn that from her. All right, new data actually suggests that teenage girls are experiencing more mental health crisis right now. What are you seeing in your work? It's incredibly saddening when I hear about the data. And I would say that in particular, for girls of color, it's compounded by what we're now calling adultification. The idea that teen girls have to mature faster, mm. become more independent, and not be as worthy of protection and supports, which is why I continue to anchor on mentorship. You know, it, I think back to the African proverb, it takes a village, and that's precisely what mentorship does. It expands the family unit so that our young people, and especially girls, have the supports that they need. Yeah, and amazingly, it doesn't take much time to be a mentor. It's pretty easy. It's two outings a month, and it could be anything from going to a movie or going to a skating rink, going to a, a women's basketball game mm. or a college tour. All right. Well, we are we are proof that it is a wonderful it's a wonderful thing to do, and everyone gets so much out of it. And thank you so much for being here thank and all you the work for that you me. do. Thank you so much. To learn more about Big Brothers Big Sisters, head to our website cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.